little 16 foot, barely used, Wolf Pup here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Basically, folks use this, and then shortly after that, um, just due to circumstances out of their control, a little lifestyle change prompted the fact that they just didn't need a camper anymore. So this is what's called an early season 18, but it's still an 18. Uh, so when you folks go to flip out of it, doesn't mean if it was early or late season, it's an 18. So this is very new. Uh, at a used price tag, you can get same as new financing on it in all likelihood. And you're also going to find some nice extras in here. Like whenever somebody buys a new RV at Halet RV, they get a bunch of extra little accessories and whatnot. Like you're going to find little hoses, even the original weight distribution and anti-sway kit all in this thing. So if what you're looking for is your first camper or you're getting out of a pop-up and there's going to be some things like hitching that you need, well congratulations, you can save off the new RV price tag and save off the cost of hitching all in one shot, and that ain't bad. This model's always been very popular among our lineup. Um, it's actually one of the fastest selling trailers that we have. We keep it in stock multiple copies at a time, so it's nice to get a used one in here for the folks uh, you know looking to be a little budget conscious. But again, it has you're not inheriting someone else's problems. Um, they didn't have any intention of letting this go. It's just the way things kind of worked out. So this is a, a little camper uh, with. A lot of big camper features, like we got the same full-size 13,500 BTU air conditioner. We got a big walk-around bed, and that is not the original mattress. The folks uh, swapped that out, put a, you know, you can see the foam topper pad on top of that. So this is actually something that's not going to, you know, like break your back when you lay on it necessarily. Now, to the left of the bed, next to that window, they did add a big mirror. And it's actually kind of nice, right, when you walk in, having this virtual, like, floor-to-ceiling mirror right here. It, it really opens it up and it makes this little thing feel not so little. And I did notice previous owners, they tinted the bedroom windows on both sides here. That is not factory tint, but I will be darned if they didn't do an amazing job of it. You have to really, really know what you're looking for to notice that. Now they had a couple little things, maybe like Velcroed to the wall. So I do see a couple little spots where some Velcro had pulled, but I mean... Guys, we are not paying the new RV price tag. Plus, you got that hitch included in here. That's the worst I can say about this camper. I've been through it three times now trying to find a thing wrong with it. That's the thing I can find wrong with it. Now, again, this is basically the same as the current new generation. Like, we've got the household and USB plugs, not on one side, but both sides of the bed and next to the dinette. This is one where uh, the hanging wardrobe closets were added. Those are actual uh, optional pieces of equipment to this thing. All of our shades are going to be these nicer pleated shades, except by the kitchen, but that's for fire code, and every camper is going to have that restriction. And this extra tall window right here, it's kind of nice if you hear some goofy sound on your campsite sitting in bed. You can look straight out without having to necessarily like, you know, get up and feel uncomfortable or anything. Uh, Bluetooth, DVD, stereo, you see all the original uh, electronics and like remote control and everything present for you. Even all the original owner's manual is still present and accounted for, which is pretty darn nice. Now, uh, over here, something they do very well is that just monstrous camp size, uh, or campside window right there. And it lets in just a big flood of light. It gives you a nice big look at your campsite. You can see the big overhead storage above it. We've got all LED lights. The wall next to the dinette up there is TV ready. You'll find a matching mount on the outside. These little wolf pups do not include a factory TV and it doesn't look like one was ever added to it either. But if you want to, you can. Now, uh, down here, you know, this is a couple's camper, but, like, let's say you've got, like, a little grandkid or something or a big dog you want to put down for the night. A lot of people do some dog camping. I'm a big pet-friendly camper person myself. This is a little fold-down uh, sleeper dinette, but what's also nice, ladies and gentlemen, is there is some decent storage below that seating. Now, you do need to lift the uh, the decks to get to it, the, the bench decks, but... You're not going to put, like, your silverware down there. You're going to put, like, extra blankets and extra stuff down there. Now, whether it's this countertop or what's in the bathroom or what's right here on the dinette, this is an all-sealed-edged, pressed membrane countertop material. So if you do spill some water or something, it's not really going to sponge and swell and, you know, cause problems in general. Uh, she's a little camper, but it's got some decent storage to it. Like, if you look over here in the kitchen, you can see, uh, starting with that big cabinet up top, Plenty of big storage space in there, <laughs> a lot of cereal boxes in that. Now, this is a gas and electric refrigerator, and it does have a freezer pocket in it. As we come over, you'll also see that, uh, you know, below the countertop and up through that pantry, they utilized every ounce of space 
And I think they've given this thing an appropriate amount of space and storage for a little camper like this. Uh, moving on back here, by the way, this is our furnace and our converter panel. In, in your house, you probably call that like your fuse box, basically. One of the best parts about this floor plan is it has a pretty generous bathroom for a small camper. Decent leg room in, in front of this floor flush stool. Um, the only other thing I really noticed is it looks like maybe a little bit of cold crackage uh, took place on that little screw down there. But again, it is cosmetic. It is just not the end of the world here. And again, you're not paying the new RV money for it. We do have that all uh, that surround shower paneling right here. So if you are showering, your you know the water off your body isn't necessarily going to spray against the walls. And across from us, we've got this big, nice open feeling, which is hard to do in a small camper uh, bathroom area with very generous like countertop space around that very large sink and plenty of room down here for like extra toiletries or toilet paper or what have you. Outside here, everything looks good. I mean, it's not old enough to really look bad unless someone went out of their way to abuse it. But the point is, nobody did. Um, simple solar charge plug up here if you want to get one of those little portable suitcase style panels she is all prepped and ready for that great for boondocking keep your batteries topped off like i said initially you're going to find there's going to be some stuff included with it like uh looks like surge protector and some things here water hose the original hitching uh, and uh more storage under the bed there you can access that from lifting up the bed inside too now if it's a little bit of a rainy day and you open this baggage door something cherokee the manufacturer of this camper does is they actually treat this right here with an anti-wicking treatment so that you know water doesn't soak up and sponge into that uh awning looks good we'll open that up in just a little bit as we come around the other side of the camper real quick i do want to point out this is a narrow body easy towing camper it's about seven seven and a half wide uh what that means is it's pretty much the same width as your vehicle you don't necessarily need big extension towing mirrors although ladies and gentlemen I just always recommend you get them. There's just no sense in like skimping on safety. That's just silly. Extra thick aluminum painted nose sweep on the front. So you're you're gonna have to really neglect this thing to see hard oxidation on the skin. You should always wash and clean your camper at least once a year, but you're gonna have to really neglect it to see like hard sun fading on it. Front and rear corner stabilizer jacks are something little campers like this don't always have. Sometimes they'll have rear stabilizers only. But perhaps little things like that are one of the reasons that the Cherokee family of trailers has become uh, Forest River's very best-selling thing that they make. This does have a full walk-on roof, by the way. Also has little extended rain spouts up there to help cut down on the black streaks by keeping the water off it. Now the cargo rack in the back here, I believe has about a 200 pound rating. You see it's got the spare tire on it. You do not need to remove that spare tire to drop that cargo rack. And it, I mean, it's very handy if you wanna bring along like bikes or something like that. I had a hot second, so I popped the awning out on this one, and I was very pleased with what I see. I don't see any, like, out of the ordinary weird staining, molding, anything like that. Everything looks pretty good up here. This is also an easy tilt awning, and I mean easy, just literally two fingers is all it takes to put this awning on a bit of a tilt. It'll hold its position there, but it's also self-writing. So if you forget the awning is cranked down like that, let's say you had it out overnight and then you wake up uh, middle of the night and you can hear the awning banging around the breeze and that arm's cranked all the way down, no sweat. You roll the awning up and it will actually self-correct itself as it rolls up basically it will straighten the arms back out all on its own. Now we have outside TV hookups here and you see that that bracket matches what we saw inside. So this, uh, you know, you can have a very easy indoor outdoor entertainment and that Bluetooth like stereo DVD thing we looked at, it will play out here too via those hookups right there. So it's kind of a shared thing. You could technically have twin entertainment going on. Um, and these little uh, tire pressure uh, valve stem caps right here, they tell you uh, at a glance if there's proper tire inflation going on or not. If that flips from green to red, you know you need to put air in the tires. And speaking of which, I don't see any scary dry rotting or like weird wear patterns or anything on the tires. Everything here looks good. This is also an anti-slam entry door. You can see this thing right here and I can fling it and it still doesn't slam shut even though it's already half open. So overall, I'm real happy with what I see here. This is something that is, you know, <laughs> if it's going to be your first camper, if you're getting out of a pop-up or a hybrid or something like that, easy towing little couples camper that even a, a modest SUV can probably handle. So uh, give us a call here. We only do everything. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.